G'day, Steve Your Daily Shaver. Um, I think I'll show you around my island. This is my second flight on the Bebop 2 from Parrot. Um, it's just the base model. It um, uses my mobile phone for uh, Wi-Fi directions. And uh, the first night I took it up on the north side of the bridge on the island, looking back towards Queensland mainland. And, uh, oh, traffic across the bridge, people swimming, kayaking up the um, passage. The passage has an interesting history. It's called the Pummel Stone Passage because the um, rough, smooth, bubbly pummel stones that um, the Aborigines used to take out and use the soap on their skin. Um, these stones come from the volcanoes further up the passage known as the Glasshouse Mountains. They themselves are extinct volcanoes. These days, I don't see any of these stones except a few small ones on the beach. But apparently, um, back when Queensland was discovered and they were mapping this area, um, it was quite common to see thousands of these things floating in the water every day. Um, the island's well populated, particularly the last bottom third of the island. Two thirds of the island is national park and forestry, um, growing pine plantations. Um, so it's only the bottom tip of the island that actually has a population. During the Second World War, the um, bridge didn't exist and the ferry would resupply Bribey Island. The island was evacuated, all the people were taken off the island and uh, it was fortified on the far side, known as the Brisbane Line. If the Japanese had have um, successfully landed one Japanese person on the ground in Darwin, the plan was to pull back um, to this, because um, Bribing could be defended. The um, deep water passages between Morton Island and Bribey, um, and with batteries along Bribey Island, they could defend that passage and stop ships from sneaking into Brisbane. And of course, Brisbane would have been necessary for Douglas MacArthur and the Americans to resupply Queensland to take back northern Queensland from the proposed Japanese invasion. Of course, the Japanese never got any further than. Um, Papua New Guinea. It was a rough few years, but um, basically they just used to bomb Darwin every now and again, and uh, all that was kept out of the press, so we never really got to hear about that. Um, thank you to something known as the D-Notice. Um, the bridge is only two lanes. It is a right royal pain in the bum when there's an accident or a bingle or anything because people immediately want to stop their cars and exchange names and numbers. And the bridge has been known to be closed for hours during the day, um, blocking up traffic all the way back to the Bruce Highway. Um, and uh, if you're stuck on the island, you just go find something else to do because you just literally can't go anywhere. Uh, Bribe is probably one of the closest, most beautiful islands to Brisbane. So of a weekend, we get a lot of tourist traffic up to our island. Uh, I've got a street with no um, turn direction. So to get onto the Bribey Island Road sometimes is a right royal pain in the bum of a weekend. Try to avoid going over the island during the day. Late afternoon, it starts to empty out. People start heading back to Brisbane and it gets a bit better. And to be honest, it's nice on the island till about 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. Then the um, bozzies... Um, Midgies start to get you a little bit, uh, but there's some good restaurants and things they have out the um, lemon gas lights and that keeps um, places that you eat um, bug free and uh, it's just a really beautiful island to live on. The water is gorgeous nine months of the year. It's only about three months of the year. It's a little too cold to swim, uh, but during those months a shorty wetsuit and still quite capable of going in. When I was a kid and I came up from Victoria down southern Australia and we came up to Queensland during the summer, I, uh, during the winter actually when I was about 12, I swam every day. I, did, I just thought it was funny that you could have all the beaches to ourselves. Remember where I came from during the middle of the day it might get to you know um, 14 degrees. Well in Queensland it usually got to 14 degrees as a minimum during the winter so um, the days of about mid-twenties, um, beautiful swimming weather. But what happens is you come here for a while and you start to acclimatise and then you start getting picky. That's the biggest problem is getting picky. Now on the south side of the bridge, looking south towards um, Port of Brisbane, you can't see it, um, but the little winkle underneath the clouds there is uh, 
Morton Island. Southern and north of Morton Island used to be one island, but during the Second World War, a ship bringing in supplies of um, munitions um, got grounded. And the military thought it would be a good idea just to dig a big hole in the middle of the island. Well, one day um, something happened. I think it was when they went to um, dig it up at the end of the war, and the damn stuff exploded. And uh, the big crater in the middle of the island soon started eroding with water, and now there's two islands, north and south. Um, Morton Island and South, whoa, get dizzy doing that. Um, um, south is, um, of course, Brisbane, the Port of Brisbane. There's lots of canals on Bribey going about five kilometres inland. Uh, there's um, about three on this side of the island, two further up, uh, and uh, so canal living, a bit like the Gold Coast. Never floods, even during cyclones and storms that come in. So uh, for those that can afford the boats, and the boats there can quite often cost 10 times what the houses are sitting on the canals. Someone's got money, just not me. Now, this is a small park on the south side. The council have been busy the last few years um, uh, putting in not just the concrete edging, and this is high tide, but uh, they've been dumping sand. So you can swim here. Um, doesn't get very deep um, until you get out past those barkers where uh, you'll see the ships having their anchors. Um, because this is uh, this is a, actually coral reef um, from here and around the bay, um, they actually have concrete anchors to anchor on so they don't cause damage if there's a wind and the ships drag their anchor. They're tied to concrete ones that are set. Um, there's In the distance behind the um, bridge there, you'll see the um, locks that um, allow them to trap the water and um, boats go in and go up and down the lock to gain access to the um, inside. And uh, there's a lot of fish, a lot of sharks. Um, uh, crabbing is big in these um, waterways. People just drop a crab pot at the end of their jetty behind their house and uh, lifestyles of the rich and famous. This is quite a nice park. This park's right along the coast here. We would have thousands of people pitching their own tents, barbecues every weekend. Uh, we just had Australia Day and the island was just insane with people. As deep people were parking two, three kilometres and walking to get to the <laughs> get back to the water. So on a day like this, it looks like it could fit a lot of people, but when you've got um, anything up to twenty to 30,000 people visiting the island of a weekend, wow. Um, it's nothing to get on a bad weekend, 5,000 people, and those you fit and hardly notice. There's me in the red in the background, landing it. This is my third flight of the Bebop, and I quite like the Bebop. It's one of the cheapest drones. Australian, it cost me a couple of hundred dollars. Um, does 1080p and uh, it's image stabilized video so quite good quality of course i've dan sampled it to um, shrink files because i'm on wireless for uh, uploads and downloads here and uh, this is sunset probably about oh sunsets seem to take forever the sun sets further south in our summer so uh during the summer, it would set on the other side of the um, bridge looking north, more towards the Glasshouse Mountains. Normally the sun sets behind the Glasshouse, and during summer, it's exactly the opposite. It sets um, south towards Brisbane. Uh, it just totally chucks me compass out, um, <laughs> trying to work out what direction's what. There's the Glasshouse Mountains behind the bridge on the right-hand side, panning left. Um, I put that in the wrong spot, didn't I? Um, this is telling you how dry the park is. Normally that's green grass. It was all green about four months ago. We've had a very dry summer. Clouds there look like they're gonna rain on us. They often look like they're gonna rain on us. When they do rain on us at the moment, it's dry before it hits the ground. And one day I'd like to live on a ship out in the passage and just come to shore to do a wee bit of shopping, go for a swim off the back of the boat, Broadband now pretty much all in the passage, um, got wireless internet. And there I've zoomed in on the glass house. People having a dip. 
You can sort of put in comfortable chairs and gyms along here so you can do your push-ups and sit-ups. And uh, down towards Bongaree, looking south there. I'll do another video around Bongaree showing you the wharf. Um, they've remade the jetty. It's just got to revamp again.